Hi and uh, thanks for stopping in. So I just wanted to make a, a short video on a kind of a peculiar issue I came across um, recently. I needed to make some soft jaws for this uh, vice that I was building and I didn't have any aluminium uh, for it so I needed to cast some aluminium um, in this mould here. And I'd use the foundry that I uh, built to melt down some, um, you know, like soda cans and pour it into the mould. So I actually did um, uh, three of them. And you can see that I've machined um, one set up and uh, put it onto the vise now. So that's all fine. But I had this issue here that you can see in these ones. So these are... You know the square blocks that come out of there and I've just cut them down the middle there and you can see this kind of odd cavity in these ones um, this is the bottom of the mold and this is the top of the mold here uh, this one here sort of starts a bit below halfway whereas this one here starts above halfway and the third one was pretty much about the same as well. So they all had this issue. And what makes it bizarre is it's kind of a cavity right in the center of the aluminium. So you can see on the sides here, um, it's solid aluminium. And on this side, it's solid aluminium. The cavity is right in the middle. As if there was some sort of air had got in there or something like that. Uh, there was definitely no air getting in when I was pouring the aluminium into the mould here. So I'm not really sure what this is. If you have come across this before and you know what this is, um, it'll be great if you could leave a, a comment. Um, and, you know, if it's something that can be avoided, uh, you know, in this particular instance, I was able to, I had plenty of, thickness for these pieces and I was able to mill pretty much the affected area out uh, but it would be good you know to be able to cast and not have this issue at all. Now I do have a, a bit of a theory I'm thinking that uh, I was pouring the molten metal into the tube and I filled it right up to the top and I've seen in some other molds like my round molds that I use for making um, you know round stock for the lathe that when the aluminium cools down it, it sinks you sort of get a concave bit at the top so it kind of shrinks and for this one here you can't actually see that it's filled right to the top and it's still kind of convex, I suppose. Hasn't shrunken down. So my theory is, the when the aluminium uh, cools down, uh, there's a certain amount of shrinkage for whatever reason. So I'm thinking it's been poured into the mould. The outside of the mould, or the... The, alum the aluminium around the outside here um, starts to set and go hard, whereas the inside may be still uh, liquid. And as that starts to set and it starts to shrink, it can't pull in from these outside areas because they're already set. So it doesn't have any choice other than to cause a vacuum in here and I think that's what this is I mean it's only a, a theory but it's the only sort of logical answer I can think of to be honest so that causes a vacuum and then you get these kind of like air pockets but there's nothing in them now if that is indeed uh, what the problem is then I'm really not sure how to avoid that but anyway I'll be really interested in any information about this if, if anyone's come across this before maybe some of the people from the um, you know metal casting uh, groups or anything like that if you've had 
experience. Uh, it will be good to good to know what this is and and you know if possible how to avoid the issue um, you know in the future with other castings that I do. Thank you very much in advance to those who will leave a comment and to everyone else, thank you for watching.